Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing best of beauty lips. It's probably my favorite video. I'm just gonna make sure I'm in focus here. Uh, probably my favorite like item of makeup lately, especially for 2020, which is weird because a lot of 2020 we were wearing masks, but even if I had a mask on, I was not leaving the house without my lips looking good. So I have a ton. I feel like what's on your lips was probably my most asked question of 2020 <laughs> was, what are you wearing? What's your lip color? What's the lip combo? I need to know the lip combo. Um, so be prepared to be overwhelmed with lip products because there are so many good ones that I use this year. And honestly, like the amount of lip liners I've used this year, uh, crazy. So many of these lip liners are like becoming small little nubs. Like I'm telling you, I have a stash of them here because I use them all the time. Um, every day, I do not wear lips without a liner. So I try to swatch most of these, um, but there's just so many good ones where somebody lost a cap here. All right, let's start with little nubbins here. Oh, if you're new, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this video and decide to stay a while. Hit that subscribe button. If you love lip products, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Leave me your favorite lip products down in the comments below. That way we can all read through them and figure out like if we have them, should we pull them out again? Or do we need to add them to our like must buy list? So get a pen and paper, grab some like tea, coffee. I got my Starbucks here. If you're ever curious of my Starbucks order, go to my Instagram, it's at Shades of Cassie. I have a highlight of exactly how I order my coffee and it's phenom. So let's get into it. Best of 2020 lip products. The first, this one is BFF, it's from ColourPop. It's like, there's hardly any left here. This is, I mean, I use it all the time. You're gonna see these are very similar in color. I don't wear color. I'm a nude lip kind of girl. This one's BFF, super inexpensive. I need to repurchase it because there's not much left. It's just the perfect everyday nude. These are all nude. So if you came here for color, you give me a little disappointed. Okay, this one is Whirl from MAC. Again, a little nub shows you I've been using it a ton. I already have a backup of this one. This one has a little bit more of a deeper pinky color versus BFF. So if you want something that has like a little bit more depth to it, this is great. It's also a great one for lining and then using a lighter color and blending it in to kind of get that bigger, poutier look. Whirl is a great one. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. I have a small little one like this much left in my purse. And then this is the second one because I love it so much. This one is kind of in between Whirl and um, BFF. So you can see here, it's still got like depth to it, just a little bit more cool toned, but this one, phenomenal. I mean, I really can't say much about these other than I love them because clearly. This one is Bound. Again, look how tiny that is. Uh, this one's definitely more pinky. Definitely has some depth to it, but it has more of that berry tone. So if you're wanting something a little deeper, a little berry, Bound by ColourPop is great. Another Charlotte Tilbury one I've used a ton, Pillow Talk. This one's more of a pinky nude, so not so much of like a neutral pink, but more of that, see it's a lot more pinky than like a beigey brown color. So Charlotte Tilbury has great ones. Those are the only two colors I've ever tried from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, med oh Pillow Talk Medium 2. That one's really great. I don't know where I can't why I can't find that one, but that one is another must have is the medium tube pillow talk. ColourPop is probably one of my favorite for lip liners. They always have so many great colors. They're always coming out with new colors. They have great nudes. KKW is another one that I'm obsessed with. I have like pretty much every lip liner color she's ever came out with, but there's a ton of great ones. So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite. Obviously, like they've been well loved. They're all like pretty, a lot of them are pretty short. This is 90s style. This is probably one of my more used ones. This one is 90s style. They're so creamy. They're long wearing, this is a little bit more brownie. You'll find that a lot of her pencils are more on the warmer brownie peachy tone. Um, they're creamy, they last a long time, they're not drying on my lips. This one is the shade Love. Oh, this one's so good. See a little bit more brown in that one. This one is called Beauty Icon. This one's definitely way more browner. 
Do you guys remember like my old videos? You wouldn't catch me in a nude lip. I only wore bright colors. Now it's like you'll rarely catch me wearing bright colors. This one is nude 2.5. This one's really deep in brown. So if I'm wanting kind of like that more grungy look, that's like a real nice kind of chocolatey brown. Uh, nude liner two. This one is also one I use quite a bit. It's a little bit lighter than that other one, but still really brown. So if you're really wanting to contour your lips, you do this really lightly, um, just kind of overline really lightly with it, and then you fade it and blend it in with another color. That's kind of how I use those ones. Then we have 1.5, which is probably my second most used one. It is, oh, it's so pretty. Just a like brownie nude, beigey brown nude. And then Nude Liner 1, I use a lot too. Let's see there, a little bit lighter than 1.5. So I bought a ton of hers. They all come like 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and they like vary in depth. And I just went ham and I love them. Her lipsticks are like okay to me. They're pretty drying to be honest. And for the price, the packaging is pretty cheapy and plastic. So her lipsticks, I probably won't tend to buy very many of those, but her lip liners are really, really great. The next is the Patrick Ta lip liners. Now I really like the colors of these. The application is kind of weird because it's more, uh, instead of a point, you have more of a rectangle. Um, the shade I have here is She's Strong. So as you see, it's like a, rectangly shape instead of like a point and it is a click up so you don't want to click up too much because you can't retract it back down so this one is she strong which is like a perfect everyday shade for me i really enjoy that one then we have she's humble which has is lighter and has more of a pinky tone to it and then she's proud which is more um that one's a really pretty everyday color too. She's proud. It's a little bit more cooler toned, uh, but these are really nice, long wearing, creamy. Uh, the shape of it is kind of weird, but it is kind of nice if you're like kind of overlining and just kind of, you can turn it sideways and just kind of shade in. It's, it's really cool. I really like those liners. Okay, a couple more, then we'll move on to lips. I have no lip glosses because I don't really wear lip gloss. I mean, I own a lot of lip gloss. I just never wear it. Uh, Paranoid by Urban Decay. I wore so much. Look at that's all that's left. This might actually be my second one because I feel like I bought this again. So this is my second one. This one's if I'm like, you know, feeling colorful. <laughs> it's like a berry nude. Really pretty, long wearing, super creamy. That's what I'm gonna say about all these. Uh, and if you believe, like believe this or not, this is like maybe like one tenth of the lip liner collection I have. I have way too many lip liners. Um, contour, this is from Pat McGrath. This is a really great kind of cool toned brownie beige color right here. Super pretty. Uh, color pop, here's another one, Field Day. This is a newer one. I have been using this a lot lately. It's a little bit more of a warmer nude for me. And this one's really, really pretty with their um, newer, these, these ones right here, these little guys, this lippy stick, but in the color Unreal. It's a beautiful combo. It's from their like Poppy collection. Okay, two NYX ones. This one is in Nude Beige. Oh my gosh. It's very cool toned. So if I really want a cool toned lip, this is what I go for. I try not to go too cool toned because it kind of can pull a little grayish on me, um, but I really like that one. I've already gone through one of these. This one is natural. You'll see it in my empties video coming up. It's, you know, already been used up. I'll see if I can open this so I can swatch it for you. Gosh, they, it's like Fort Knox, man. Fort Knox. <laughs> okay. Nobody thinks you're funny, Cassie. Okay. So this one is natural. I've already finished one of these. It's the perfect, most perfect lip liner. It's a sharpened one. Um, it's a little bit stiffer, but the color is just everything. I have like three backups. Okay, what I have on today is Wherever Walnut. You can see I've used quite a bit of it considering this is like, ugh. kind of, this is a newer one. This one's in uh, sepia, what is it called? Completely sepia. So we have Wherever Walnut. I have the caffeine color too, and then sepia. Sepia is definitely more pinky toned. And then this is wherever walnut, which is what's on my lips right now. So those are the lip liners. I kind of interchange between all of them. They're all 
fairly similar except for some of the really browny ones and the um, more deeper pinky berries. But the other ones I kind of like will just grab one and then go in with my lip product. So, so I never use lipstick without a lip liner. I feel like it looks so weird on me now because I'm just so used to wearing a lip liner. So I kind of interchange most of those on a daily basis. Now for lipstick, I have a ton. <laughs> I have a lot. Um, and there's specific colors too. Not only is it like, I really like the formula, but I really like the colors. So again, they're all nudes. Um, the first two are from this collection from Charlotte Tilbury, like this packaging. First of all, beautiful packaging. Nude Kate and Hepburn Honey. So this one is Nude Kate. It's a little bit more of a peachy color and I just feel like it looks so pretty with those lip liners. And then Hepburn Honey is a little bit of a more brownie peach, I guess. Aren't those so pretty? Would you guys ever, like, if you have been with me for a long time, ever imagine me in like any of these nudie colors? Cause literally I, I look back at pictures when Ethan was little and I literally only would wear bright purple, bright pink, red, magenta, like candy yum yum was on frequent rotation. Now it's like I never wear color and I'm okay with it. So those lipsticks are phenomenal. The other ones, I'll do these ones right here. These Natasha Denona are amazing. They are so like creamy on the lips, but almost like I don't know. I love this formula. I think you're going to either love it or hate it. I, it just feels so creamy and nice. I really, really like it. So I have three in the white packaging and two in this like bronze packaging. Um, the first I have here is, um, Natasha. And this one's a kind of like a cooler tone beige color, but they almost feel like kind of like if, Lipstick could be pore filling. That's what it feels like. Maybe like a silicone dimethicone type slip to them, but I personally really like that. And then I have Michelle. So you can see Michelle has a little bit more pink to it. Do these have a scent? I don't think so. No. And then this one's Beatrice, which I, I wear this one a lot. Beatrice and Andrea. So, so this one's Beatrice. You can see it's a little bit lighter. I love these and I love them paired with the lip liners I showed you most of the year. It's like I've been wearing one of these with those lip liners. All right. Then from the bronze packaging, we have Andrea, which I feel like I wear a ton. Andrea. And the last one is Maria, I think. Yes, Maria. There's Maria. So, I mean, if you didn't love nudes, these may all look the same to you. But if you love nudes, these are all very different nudes, okay? Two MAC ones, and these are specifically on the color. One is limited edition. I'm so sorry, but I have to mention it because I literally wore it all the time. The other color is Babe Town, but it's in my purse. So I can't, I'm not going to go run and grab that. But it's beautiful. It was limited edition. It's amazing. Okay, this is Whirl. If I wanted to do like a deeper nude, Whirl is what I go for. I love the lip liner. I love the lipstick color. Uh, then this color called A La Plage. Uh, this was a luster lipstick from like their bronze collection. I wear this all the time. It's really sheer. Like you really have to build it up, but the color is so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, so that one I used a ton. If you can still find it, I highly recommend picking it up. It's one of my favorites. I kind of wish that I had a backup of it because I use it all the time. Two drugstore ones. I have two here. This one is um, from L'Oreal. It's called Shining Peach. Now I have had this for a long time, but I still freaking love it. It is such a pretty pinky glossy look to the lips because I don't wear a gloss. So I just like this. It makes your lips look super juicy. I know a lot of, um, during the summer people were like, what's on your lips? It was most likely shining peach or this one right here, which is called coconut plump. And it's from like their plumping line. And it just has the most beautiful shine without being a gloss. And it has a little bit of a like fruity scent to it, but absolutely beautiful. Love, love these. And they're inexpensive too. I really wanted to love the Fenty shines. Like the color that I got that I bought is really pretty, but the smell and the taste is disgusting. I cannot handle it. So if you had the same experience with the Fenty ones, you might want to try these ones from Sephora. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but the shades that I have are 
L21 and L24. So this is L21. It has a nice shine slip to them and a pretty glossy look and they just look really juicy and nice on the, on the lips. So L21 and L24. L24 is a lighter pinky nude and then this one's a little bit more of a deeper brownie nude. They are incredibly like juicy looking on the lips. They feel really comfortable. Um, they, none of these are like incredibly long wearing, but super beautiful. They're not very expensive. And if you like the look of what the Fenty ones would have given you, but you didn't like the way they smelled or taste, you, you might really like those. These Patrick Ta lip creams are super nice. If you don't like a liquid lipstick, you feel it's too dry, you might like these Patrick Ta ones. They're super moussey and just creamy on the lips. They feel so nice. So this one is, she's secure, she's independent, she's confident, and she's unapologetic. Um, I'll swatch them quickly. I gotta get to my nail appointment here in a few minutes, so I'm gonna try to hurry. So this one is, she's secure. So they have a nice shine, but they're almost like a whipped feeling and they have a minty smell to them. This one is, she's independent. I just feel like he nailed it on these nudes. Like you kind of got a little bit of everything. So she's independent is definitely more cool toned. Then you have she's confident, which is like a warmer, deeper color. That's pretty. And then this one's pretty light. This one is she's unapologetic. But they're just so creamy and whipped feeling. You can see it's a, more of a lighter, cooler pink. And it's just absolutely stunning. So these are really, really nice. They give you that nice glossy look. They stay on the lips really nice and they um, aren't drying. They give you like that nice whipped feel. But once you put them on, like they do, they do stay really nicely. With two lip products to keep those nice lips looking smooth and hydrated. The Laneige Sleeping, Sleeping Lip Mask, I use every single night. I have them by my bed. I have like every flavor. Um, this one is in, oh, I haven't opened this one yet. I have a little jar full of them. So I have this one, another one of these by my bed. I have a small one, I think in my bathroom. I just love these. I love every flavor. I put them on every night, incredibly hydrating. And then in the morning when I sit down to get ready, the Laneige little juicy glowy lip balm. I have one in my car. I have one in here. Um, this one is in the gummy bear. They're just really hydrating. My lips feel nice and plump and smooth. And they're great if you wear a lot of lip products and you really like need to keep your lips hydrated. I use them every single day and they last a really long time too. Like the lip mask will last for months and months and months and months. So anyways, that is it for my lip products. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you were able to take some notes on some lip products you might want to pick up next time if you are a nude lip lover like me. I'm sorry there was no color here, but I'm just like, I just don't wear color ever. Anytime I put it on, I like immediately take it off because it just does not feel like me. I don't feel like myself. I don't feel confident in a bright lip. I like to stay in the nude zone here. So if you love nudes, you have a lot of great options. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my other Best in Beauty for 2020. I have a face one and I still have the eyes coming up. I'm going to film that probably tomorrow or next week. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you have a wonderful day. You're staying happy, healthy, and safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.